the Star Wars trilogy is now on DVD for the very first time. Now you can be a part of the adventure in all three movies, plus a bonus fourth disc stacked with powerful new Star Wars extras. The Star Wars trilogy now available. In September 2004, Star Wars finally did what all fans was waiting for. It came to DVD and in two formats, widescreen and for some reason, full screen. And yes, even I saw people buying full screen ones. Anyway, it was going to be a big seller and Hasbro didn't want to miss out. So they teamed up with Walmart to release action figures that at first you thought maybe came with DVDs. It's kind of an odd combination. It was a DVD box set that kind of seemed to go with the DVD release, but it didn't come with the DVDs. There was three different ones released. And in true Hasbro fashion, once again, these were just the same figures now in a box set. For the Star Wars New Hope DVD collection, which retailed at Walmart at the time for $9.96, huh, can you imagine that? Four figures for $9.96? Never see that again. The Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO, R2-D2 were all already released under the Power of the Force line, and the Luke Skywalker was released under the Hall of Fame line under the title Luke Skywalker Tatooine Encounter. For the Empire Strikes Back set, you only got three figures. And the same price. Seems like a ripoff, doesn't it? The Han Solo was originally released as Han Solo Bespin Capture in the Power of the Jedi line. Princess Leia and Chewbacca was released before this set, also in the Power of the Jedi line. And the third line was Return of the Jedi. We got Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, and a weird looking Emperor. I don't know what it is about it, just like the hood's too big or something. It's just really odd looking. It looks more like somebody's abusive grandmother. And as you can guess, these were already in stores. The Stormtrooper was first released as Stormtrooper with blaster damage and the Power of the Force 2 line. Darth Vader and the Emperor were already released under the Star Wars Saga line. Now Hasbro would do a few more of these sets throughout the years, from figures based on the prequels to the cartoons. But the first one was the 2004 Walmart exclusive Trilogy DVD Collection that came with no DVD. At least they did put it on the box that there was no DVD inside, but it still just seems odd to call a set a DVD collection. They should have just teamed up with Walmart and Lucasfilm to have these figures come in a DVD box set. That would have probably been pretty cool. But that's a look at the DVD collection that had no DVD. Thank you for watching. Thumb up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We will talk again soon. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.